Hello everybody, Silent Wisher here with a special kind of video, a trailer breakdown video. I've been waiting for a new Half-Life game for a very, very long time. And this is Half-Life Alex, uh, the trailer for it. Um, I'm not going to play it in its entirety at once and then review the trailer. I'm going to break it down as we go along. So if you want to watch it uninterrupted, uh, link will be in the description or you can just search for Half-Life Alex. Um, and this is on uh, VR systems. So with all that being said, let's go to the beginning here and let's break it down as we go along. So like I said, it's Steam VR. Okay, so first, look at the world. Look at the graphics. Okay, just a little bit of a spoiler alert. This is a completely new engine from what I understand. It's Source 2, which we've always made memes and jokes about, but this is beautiful. So as you can see, there's VR. It is VR. You know, your hands are not connected, but they are. Um, we got a cool little device here, three little hearts, and I'm not sure what else we're looking at, but so I'm assuming that's your health. Okay, so in the bottom left side of the screen here, we have a, some sort of new creature that I've never seen before in the Half-Life uh, universe personally. Um, it looks like a ray, like a bat ray of some kind. Uh, I'm assuming it's electrical. Um, based off of the environment it's in, maybe. Um, but it's got, it looks kind of like a manta ray or a stingray. So that's kind of cool. I like how you can interact with the world, these little items and stuff. I don't know how many of these little items on the screen you can interact with. I'm assuming all of them, but I'm not 100% sure. But there it is again. Um, definitely a stingray type creature. And then, of course, the head crab. Alex? Alex? I'm here. So what's the plan? All right. Beautiful opening scene here. We got the roof. So we got some similar props we've seen before in the other Half-Life games like this. Um, maybe this. Uh, I mean, you're going to see some similarities here. But we got a lot of new things. I mean, look at this world. It's beautiful. Beautiful. We can get the then we got the uh, the attack choppers carrying in parts for the Citadel. Remember, this is a prequel, so keep that in mind. That's why the Citadel is being constructed in this game. That's a weapon. What we're doing here could change things forever. No now this scene is one of my favorites. We got, once again, beautiful landscape, or beautiful, not landscape, beautiful cityscape. Um, and then we got some new looking combine here. And we have a Strider, which no doesn't look like it has any weapons on it in this variant but it's got these extra like support pieces and it's a platform. There's a platform attached to the top of it and there's combine on it uh, as like an overwatch type setup. So it's really, really cool. Uh, different variant striders. Like that's, that's really, really cool. Shots the vault. This, uh, I wanted to mention this scene because I don't really know what's going on and maybe some of the lore freaks do. Um, some sort of green electricity uh, going up to a alien spaceship. I forget what the aliens are called, if they even have been named. Um, but this is, I'm assuming, the mothership when it first arrived on uh, Earth as we know it or whatever. Um, and, you know, they're constructing the Citadel. So let's continue. I'm going to head inside, find a way out. So now we have some sort of weird, of course, VR interaction experience. It looks like hacking of some kind. I'm not sure. Got it. But it's really cool. Then we have this really, really intricate and really detailed, like, door. I'm guessing it's a door. Either that or it's a drill. But l once again, look at the... Look at the this building. Look at the textures. Look at the shadows. I mean, this new engine is insane. I can't wait to get a hold of it. I'm with you every step. No idea who this guy is. No idea. Step of the way. Once again, here's a better look at our, our hands here. All kinds of little gadgets. The three health bars. Still don't know what this is. I'm assuming maybe a charge of some kind. Um, really, really cool. Steampunky look. I mean, I know that's not necessarily what they're going for, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. You're going to need a gun. Don't worry, it's unloaded. So much for unloaded, right? Look at this. This is like... This, you know, I don't know if uh, CSGO or whatever, you know, whatever uses this engine, but it looks similar. Um, I don't think it is the same engine. I could be wrong. Somebody let me know in the comments below. But what a 
be like I just love the lighting. I love everything about this engine. It's beautiful. It's unloaded now. And if you haven't put two and two together, they're gonna let us make our own stuff in the um post not post in the game description on steam it says uh, uh community made maps or something to that degree and basically um they're giving us a new source engine to play with so that's really really exciting because the current source engine doesn't work at least it doesn't work for me i've tried everything under the sun to get it to work so i can make maps for comp or uh, not company heroes um counter-strike half-life and stuff but i just can't get it to work which is really upsetting especially for left for dead but guys before we continue something to think about with this new engine we have the potential to see not only this game this this game in source engine 2 which is what the engine's called we might see a left for dead in this engine and look how beautiful it is can you imagine a left for dead in source 2 or a left for dead 3 in source 2 that's crazy Let's continue. So we got the uh, the classic um, combine with the head crabs attached, zombies basically. Combine. I'm loving this VR experience. Like I don't have a VR system, but I definitely want one after watching this because, of course, it's the game that I've been waiting for. And well, this is just an excuse to get one. Kevin's really picking up. I know you're coming. You need to get out of here now. So once again, look at all these little items that you're able to interact with in VR. Like that's that's crazy. Like if you tried to have that many interactive like interactive items in the old Source engine, uh, you couldn't because there were, there was limits on how many items you can physically interact with. Like it was a uh, engine limitation. So this is really really cool. So we have some new combine here, like we mentioned before. But uh, here in a second, you're gonna see her take this or i'm assuming it's her take this combine out um but it looks like it's got a camera system on it i'm not really sure what that is but let's continue oh god and then this guy i'm not a hundred percent sure but i think this is eli i think i think this is alex's dad i believe but younger or something could be completely wrong I could be making a total fool of myself, but I'm just so excited about this game. Like, it's hard to pull all the memories from all the other games and the story and everything, but let's continue. They've got dad. They're going to find... They got dad. I th I'm pretty sure Eli that was Eli, because I think Eli is her dad. Once again, another really cool shot of the new combine. We have the uh, city scanner in the background, of course. Uh, new weapons... But they're very unique looking combine. Um, so far, we haven't seen any, any elite ones, um, at least not yet. But I do have a sneak peek of those for you. Now what he knows. And then There's a Strider with a weapon, the classic Strider as we know it. And they're going to kill him. And then we have uh, head crabs crawling all over the place in a really spooky environment. Love spooky environments in Source. I don't know why, just, oh, I love them. Um, and then we have the the head crab in the center of the frame here being pulled up. I forget what they call those, but they're in, they're in half-life. They're like these, uh, things with these long tongues. And if you get attached, they suck you up and eat you. <laughs> so, all this is my fault. So combine train. I never told you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we threw at them there. It looks like a box of peanuts. That's kind of hilarious. I couldn't. I'm so sorry, baby. Okay. So a lot just happened there, but, Look at these new creatures. Look at this new environment. This is like really like not exotic, but like, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, organic. That's the word I'm looking for. Organic creatures and stuff, unlike previous games. Um, and then we have this, you know, weird kind of terrifying alien creature in the center here that I'm assuming can hurt you or do something. You know, you can interact with it in some way. You are not. Um, David. Uh, no idea looks like some sort of interactive puzzle hopefully it doesn't gimmick the game too much you know but we'll see Expands. so Hello. as you can see kind of similar to half-life 2 um and the various episodes uh it's like a fizz gun except in your hands so sh you know you pulled whatever this device is to you with that uh with that mode so that's kind of cool cannot predict 
that was a new zombie model. I don't know if you saw that. You might have to rewind and pause there. Um, once again, another model here in the like organic, creepy cave system. His fate. I think that was a new zombie model as well. We got the antlions, of course. I think these are reworked models, of course, as well. But it gives me the... Um, Oh gosh, what's the name of that city? Whatever, the, the zombie city in Half-Life. I get, I get a lot of vibes from this scene right here, from that. Guys, honey. And there's the mothership, or at least what I'm calling it, the mothership. So that is where all this started from, I guess. Or at least for City 17, this is where it started from, I'm assuming. I'm sure the lore fans will uh, totally correct me here, but look at that thing. That's so cool, dude. And it's like hooked up to like all the things in the city. Like I'm assuming we're going to go in that thing. I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of hoping they make this episodic like they did the other half-lives. We'll see. Oh, got a little pixelated there. Not sure why, but Half-Life Alex. And then, the man of the hour, guys. It's G-Man. March 2020. Halflife.com. And as you see here, playable on Steam VR compatible hardware, including Valve Index, Vive, Oculus, Windows MR. I've never heard of Windows MR. But uh, that's that. That's insane. Let me uh, cut away for just a second and uh, show you some other uh, cool images for you. Okay, so here is another screenshot of the scene we saw in the video. Better view of more of the combine in the city scanner, but that combine's got like a backpack. I'm assuming that's like the commander of this unit. I'm not sure. That's pretty cool. Um, we've seen him before. We've got a cool interior scene here. Not really sure what you know what the you know background on this is, but very beautiful. Okay, now here's what I was talking about. We got this organic interaction here, uh, organic alien life or whatever. I mean, I guess technically the combine are too, but whatever. Um, and then we have this soldier here, much larger than the other ones. Okay, so remember how I said they are cameras? They're oxygen tanks or whatever they breathe tanks. So not cameras but you got this guy right here what is this guy is this the new combine elite because in half-life you had the the blue ones maybe the orange ones or whatever and then you had the all white with the red eye the single red eye is this the new elite i don't know i'm assuming so he's he's an awfully big boy to not be the elite here's a you know ground or city uh street level view we got the i forget what they call these i want to say hacksaws but I, that's probably not right. Um, they have blades, and they will mess you up. Um, like I said, street view, really beautiful. We got plants coming through the ground and everything. Beautiful shadows. Uh, looks like we have combine interacting with some sort of biohazard. I'm assuming that's what the organic life is considered is a biohazard to them. And then it looks like another elite here in the background, potentially. It's hard to tell. So, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Um, I'm ex super, super excited about this. I don't know about you guys, but let me know in the comments below. And be sure to correct me in the comments if I messed anything up. But this is insane, and I'm looking forward to this more than more than you know. Like, I am... I am so hyped about this. And if you haven't played the Half-Life series, now's the time to do it. It won't take you long to play them all. Um, there's a lot of lore, and it's just, oh, it's a great series, and I'm looking forward to this. And I'm looking forward to all of the insane games that are going to come on the Source uh, 2 engine. I'm, at least I hope they're smart enough to make more than just this game on the Source 2 engine. I'm hoping for a Left 4 Dead 3. So, guys, with that all being said, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.